When Lady Diana Spencer first married into the royal family, Princess Margaret welcomed the new member of the firm, accompanying her to social events, taking her shopping and showing her the ropes of royal life. I've always adored Margot, Princess Margaret. I love her to bits, and she has been wonderful to me from day one, the young Princess of Wales once told her biographer Andrew Morton. But over the next few years, their relationship began to sour, with tensions bubbling over when Diana's marriage to then Prince Charles broke down. Gareth Russell, author of the new book, Do Let's Have Another Drink, The Singular Wit and Double Measures of Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, discussed Diana and Margaret's relationship with royal commentator Kinsey Schofield. After the Princess of Wales's Panorama interview aired, her relationship with Margaret deteriorated and crossed the point of no return. At the time, it was not known that the interview was secured in a misleading and deceptive manner. Speaking on Ms. Schofield's To D for Daily podcast this week, Mr. Russell said, from the day and moment the Panorama interview went live, Margaret actually stopped referring to her, Diana, for a long time even by her name. She just referred to her as the girl my nephew married. Despite their strained relationship, Diana and Margaret remained neighbors at Kensington Palace. Ms. Schofield claimed, I remember reading that Margaret had this great driveway or entrance space at Kensington Palace, where you could go unseen, where nobody would see you and so that's the pathway Princess Diana would take her lovers. Read more, Meghan had time to reflect on the cut interview after snarky comments Diana and Margaret were neighbors at Kensington Palace, image, Getty Images, Margaret initially welcomed Diana into the royal fold, image, Getty Images, Prince Harry should be, banished, from royal family if memoir damages firm, poll finds Prince Harry should be, banished, from the royal family if his memoir damages the firm, according to a poll. Carried out between October 12 and 13 with 1,624 respondents, Techni UK found almost 7 in 10 Brits think the Duke should be banished if his new book contains damaging statements. Read more here. But Margaret was always watching so, while Diana thought she was being super sneaky and getting people through the door, and nobody was going to know about whoever it was, Princess Margaret was peering through the window like, I can see you. It has previously been said that Diana used Margaret's front door to sneak her then-boyfriend Dr. Hasnat Khan into the palace. According to Paul Burrell, the princess's butler, there was a strict routine for Dr. Khan when visiting Diana. In his book, The Way We Were, Mr. Burrell said, one of his duties was to make sure the relationship was hidden. He continued, I would pick him up in the BMW in a dark corner of a cobbled, quiet news, an agreed meeting place. As we approached the palace, he'd climb into the back seat, grab the tartan rug, lie flat and pull it over himself. The policeman on the gates waved me through. Diana and Hasnad dated in the 90s, image, Getty Images, trending the princess's former right-hand man claimed that instead of driving directly to the front door of Diana's quarters at the palace, Mr. Burrell would take Dr. Khan to Princess Margaret's front door. He said it was the ideal spot to take secret guests because the Queen's younger sister had insisted no CCTV camera were to monitor her front door. He wrote, the boss, Diana, wasn't the only princess intent on privacy. But despite Diana's best efforts to keep her love life secret, there was always someone watching. Mr. Burrell explained that the sound of a car engine always brought a twitch from Margaret's curtains at apartment 1A, opposite Diana's home in apartments 8-9. Mr. Burrell claimed Diana would say, she doesn't miss a trick. Don't Miss Meghan Markle admitted she has a food fixation, on podcast, Insight, who is your favorite member of the royal family? Poll, Prince Harry obsessed with staying relevant over Prince George, revealed, apartment 1A at Kensington Palace, where Margaret lived at the time, image, Getty Images. He wrote that the Princess of Wales would be waiting at the back door and, after letting Dr. Khan inside, she would wave to the windows of Margaret and shout, Night, Margot. 
Diana is said to have been devastated by Margaret's hostility, something that did not rest, even after Diana's death in 1997. According to Mr. Russell, it was Margaret's loyalty to Queen Elizabeth II and the institution that led to the princess' disdain for Diana. The historian claimed the princesses had different versions of what the monarchy should be, despite both being incredibly strong monarchists. He continued, Margaret was intensely loyal to her sister and to the institution, and she seems to have felt that publicly complaining about things was destroying, was distracting from, the mission of the monarchy. Margaret reportedly never forgave Diana, image, Getty images. Margaret was not as much of a free spirit. She was someone who really did believe in the values that her parents promoted in the 40s. When Diana's coffin passed by at her funeral in 1997, she did not properly bow her head. In his book Elizabeth Margaret, Andrew Morton wrote, as they stood outside the gates of Buckingham Palace waiting for the gun carriage carrying her body, somewhat bizarrely, Margaret was talking to her sister about improving the lavatories at Kensington Palace. Then, as the funeral cortege passed by, the Queen respectfully bowed her head while Margaret gave the most cursory of nods, looking for all the world like she wanted to be elsewhere. She never forgave Diana for what she saw as her betrayal of the royal family, not even in death.